the real causes of gout and uric acid buildup. Gout is a type of arthritis where sharp, painful uric acid crystals grow in your joints. This happens when your kidneys aren't filtering out uric acid properly from your blood, so it starts to build up and crystallise in the fluid of your joints, triggering what we call a gout attack. The usual advice is to cut back on purine-rich foods like meat and shellfish, but there's much more to this puzzle than simply eating too much protein. In this video, we'll uncover the real root causes of gout, why it impacts you, and some practical steps to stop gout attacks from happening. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have gout or kidney stones. 1. Dry Kidneys One of the main causes of high uric acid and gout attacks is having dehydrated, overworked kidneys. You see, your kidneys need to be well hydrated with enough water to help dilute uric acid and help to flush it out of your system. If you're prone to gout, you may notice flare-ups are more common during warm weather or in the summer or after doing intense exercise that causes you to sweat and become dehydrated. It really doesn't matter what food you eat, you're still at risk of high uric acid if you don't drink enough water, because your body will make it either way. Staying hydrated is absolutely essential for your kidneys to dilute the uric acid, break it down and get rid of it efficiently. Number 2 is one of the main hidden causes of gout, fruit sugar. Originally, doctors believed that the main cause of gout was eating too many purines from certain foods, but modern research shows us that fructose, a type of sugar found in fruits and plants, is more likely to raise uric acid levels and trigger gout attacks in the joints. Fructose doesn't just come from fruits though, it's also found highly concentrated in soft drinks, fruit juices, yogurts and many processed foods, making it easy to consume too much. For example, high fructose corn syrup, commonly found in sugary foods, damages your kidneys and causes insulin resistance. This makes it harder for your kidneys to clear the uric acid through your urine. Cutting out fructose-sweetened foods and eating more lower sugar fruits like berries can help to reduce the strain on your kidneys. I'll talk more about what you should be eating later in the video. Cause number 3. Alcohol and Caffeine To prevent gout flare-ups and the crystallisation of uric acid, your kidneys need to keep filtering and flushing out the uric acid properly. Unfortunately, alcoholic drinks like beer, wine and spirits can cause fluid loss, reducing the amount of uric acid that your kidneys can remove. As a result, uric acid starts to form crystals in your joints, particularly in your big toe, where it's cooler in temperature. Caffeine from drinking too much coffee, energy drinks or soda, like cola, can also dehydrate the body and trigger a gout flare-up as well. Cause number 4. High purines Unfortunately, eating too much protein can slow down kidney function over time. If you're a person that's already sensitive to uric acid, consuming excess protein could make it worse. Purines found in protein-rich foods like meat, fish and shellfish break down into uric acid during digestion. While these proteins are important for building the structure of your body, especially your brain, some people are a little more sensitive to gout due to genetic factors, as a tendency for high uric acid often runs in families. If you have a family history of gout, you may need to limit some of these types of proteins, especially during a gout attack. This is because they can be hard on the kidneys and increase uric acid levels. If you're finding this information helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on so that I can keep you updated with the latest health and nutrition tips. 5. Is Poor Gut Health The intestines in your gut contain trillions of friendly bacteria and yeasts that help you to digest food and break down uric acid. 
But when bad bacteria take over and overgrow, it becomes harder for your body to flush out uric acid so it gets reabsorbed and travels to the kidneys. Antibiotic drugs can disrupt this balance by killing off the good bacteria, as can eating too many processed foods, grains, artificial sweeteners or taking certain drugs. Restoring your gut health with probiotics and prebiotic rich foods can help to rebalance your microbiome and I'll talk more about this shortly. And cause number six is poor circulation. People who have high uric acid or gout often also have high blood pressure. This is linked with a lack of nitric oxide, a gas that widens blood vessels and promotes healthy blood flow. Because the toes are far away from the heart, Poor circulation can cause uric acid to get stuck in the joint fluid. And without the proper blood flow, the fluid in the joint doesn't exchange properly, which leads to the formation of these painful uric acid crystals. Improving circulation with gentle exercise and eating foods rich in potassium and citrulline can help to widen blood vessels and support healthy joints. Some other gout triggers to be aware of include kidney damage, as obviously if the kidneys are damaged they aren't able to filter uric acid as well from your blood. Also, seed oils are very inflammatory and can cause more inflammation and pain in your joints. Processed foods like flour, sugar, starches, bread, cereals etc. all cause insulin resistance which can weaken your kidneys as well as certain medications like aspirin, diuretics and chemotherapy drugs can also spike uric acid. How to stop gout attacks and prevent them By now you should have a good understanding of the root causes of gout and uric acid buildup. The next step is to explore some natural strategies and remedies to not only stop the gout attacks but also prevent them from happening again in the future. Pain relief. Firstly, if you're suffering from a gout attack, take a thousand milligrams of devil's claw root twice a day with food. Use this until your gout flare up goes away. This is a powerful anti inflammatory herb native to South Africa, which helps to reduce the pain and inflammation in the joints, especially in the big toe. Long term pain relief. Another option is to take a regular daily supplement all year round that's formulated to ease pain in your joints. Choose a brand which contains natural ingredients like turmeric, MSM, Boswellia and glucosamine. Personally, I recommend a brand called Performance Lab Flex where you can take 2-4 capsules a day which is good for all types of joint pain. If you'd like to try this, there's a link below the video for your convenience. Next, you should focus on hydrating your body by drinking 2.5 litres of water every single day. This will help your kidneys to flush out and eliminate excess uric acid. Don't drink it all at once however, spread it out throughout the day and the evening. Avoid alcohol. Alcohol dehydrates you and causes uric acid to build up, so just stop drinking it. Alkalize the urine. Add one half a teaspoon of potassium citrate powder to your water twice per day. This alkalizes your kidneys, helping to dissolve uric acid and pass it through the urine. It also helps to lower high blood pressure, which is common for people with gout. Boost blood flow. Now, to clear out the existing uric acid crystals in your joints and tissues, improve circulation by eating foods that boost nitric oxide, such as celery leaves, tart cherry juice, artichokes, garlic, the green part of the watermelon, turmeric, cinnamon and wild salmon. Minimize your sugar. Cut out fructose and processed sugars entirely by avoiding soda, fruit juice, sweetened yogurt, ice cream and processed foods. This alone will enormously reduce your uric acid and ease the strain on your kidneys. Coffee. Drink 1-2 to two cups of organic coffee in the morning to supply polyphenols that help eliminate uric acid. But avoid drinking too much caffeine as it can dehydrate your kidneys and make gout worse if you have too much. Purines. 
During a gout attack, you should reduce foods high in purines like red meat, organ meats and shellfish to lower your uric acid levels. However, foods high in purines are generally very nutritious, so you shouldn't avoid them completely when you aren't having a gout flare-up. Alpha Lipoic Acid Take a daily supplement containing 600mg of alpha lipoic acid. This powerful antioxidant reduces insulin resistance in the kidneys, strengthens the kidneys' ability to eliminate uric acid, and reduces inflammation during a gout attack. It also helps to relieve nerve pain and other types of pain as well. Lastly, eat probiotic-rich foods to help eliminate uric acid like sauerkraut, kimchi, Bulgarian yogurt, kefir and fermented pickles. If you want to supplement with probiotics, take one that contains Lactobacillus plantarum and Lactobacillus rhamnosus. These particular strains have been shown to lower uric acid in the body. Summary Uric acid crystals form inside the joints when your kidneys aren't eliminating it properly. The most common trigger is dehydration, causing uric acid to concentrate in the blood. Fructose found in high sugar processed foods damages the kidneys and causes uric acid to build up. Alcohol, too much caffeine or diuretic drugs cause fluid loss and can trigger gout attacks. Foods high in protein and purines can be heavy on the kidneys for people with an existing gout problem. Not having enough friendly microbes in the gut can lead to higher uric acid, and not having enough blood flow to and from the toe and other joints can cause crystals to form inside. You can ease the pain of a gout attack by using natural remedies such as Devil's Claw or Performance Lab Flex. You can also support your kidneys all year round to flush out uric acid using my simple kidney cleanse drink recipe. And for that information, watch the video that I've put on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.